Hart, a local woman with Alzheimer's missing for more than two weeks, is found dead three miles from her home. 74 year old Diane Holcomb's body was in a wooded area near Northeast 205th Avenue and Thompson Street in Fairview. The Multnomah Medical Examiner says she died from exposure. Our Lisa Balick joins us now, and she talked with the local Alzheimer's Association. And Lisa, there are some steps that families can take to try and prevent this from happening. Yes, and I'll tell you, we're hearing more and more of these cases of people with Alzheimer's who just walk out the door and people don't know what happened to them. Now again, there's some 60,000 people with this disease in Oregon. It's a type of dementia, and while it's hard for families to monitor their loved ones 24-7, I did learn there are some things you can do to plan ahead. Diane Holcomb's husband tells us she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's three years ago. She would often go out for short walks in return, but he says she started having more health issues in the days before she walked out of the house two weeks ago and disappeared. I initially thought uh, she had left with her credit card and stuff, and but her uh, all her uh, IDs is uh, miss. Uh, she didn't take any ID with her. Diane's body was found by a passerby last night near Northeast 205th Avenue and Northeast Thompson Street, several miles from her home on Northwest Third in Gresham. We wanted to know how families can perhaps keep this tragedy from happening to their family. In many cases, it's not so easy to spot someone who's missing and disoriented. When someone is living with dementia, they're not necessarily logical when they're lost. Uh, we hear that people with dementia will hide if they um, feel like they, they don't know where they are, um, or they might um, go back to a place that was familiar to them at a different point in time, like back to an old job or to a previous home. Leaders with the Alzheimer's Association of Oregon tell me there are tracking devices, like a Medic Alert Safe Return ID bracelet or necklace with emergency contact information inside. There's also a GPS tracking device worn as a pager or wristband called Comfort Zone that allows someone to be tracked if they go outside a designated area, much like the Find My iPhone app. I wanted to know how someone with dementia would know not to remove a device or remember it was there to help them. Also. How do you decide if a family member needs more care than you can provide? I found out the key to all this is to have a conversation with your loved one before the disease progresses. We encourage people to talk with the person with Alzheimer's before they start to, to be at risk for wondering so that you, know, you understand the things that are important to them and you try to honor those as much as possible, but it, it's not an easy decision. And again, you could see why it's difficult for law enforcement, even though they have a photo, they have a description of who they're looking for, to try and find that person. And in this case, she had wandered several miles from her home. But the takeaway, I think, today on this story is to have a conversation early on. Before, before the disease progresses. Absolutely. And ask people, what do you want us to do, especially even in terms of bringing in extra care when you can't handle monitoring someone 24-7 for all kinds of reasons? What do you want to have happen? And then you take comfort in knowing you're going to do what that person wanted. And again, keep them in mind. Let them know, look, we're taking some precautions for you. A good idea to do these things before you have a problem. And it affects almost everyone either knows or it's in their family. Everyone has dealt with this or will be dealing with it. Absolutely, it's more a, and more. And it's a tough conversation to have, but one that's obviously really important. Especially yeah. when both parties can really have that full conversation right. together, that's for sure. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa.